There are thousands of people in Syntagma Square, which is just in front of the Parliament building, which Angela Merkel isn't visiting, but uh, the government has allowed this as, uh, as an outlet, I think, for people's anger. And there were huge cheers a few moments ago when an open-top jeep drove into the square uh, with protesters dressed as Nazis on it. And I think uh, it's that kind of protest that has been reflected around the city uh, that people blame Angela Merkel for the austerity measures uh, which people are suffering at the moment. Greece now entering its sixth year of recession, 24.4 percent people unemployed here in a truly perilous state, relying on bailout handouts uh, to pay its bills. And that is uh, the scene into which Angela Merkel has flown today. Uh, there are distinct differences between the troika of international creditors and the Greek government over a next tranche of cuts and, uh, and extra revenue news totaling about 13 and a half billion euro that is needed to pass the parliament to secure more bailout money which is effectively keeping this country afloat and in the eurozone but it's the anger targeting uh, Angela Merkel herself but also her nationality uh, that uh, has really uh, caught fire here and while this protest in Sintagma is mostly peaceful uh, there are protests that are not peaceful that are happening along the route we hear that tear gas has been fired in a hospital yard uh, that healthcare workers who've been striking because they say they haven't been paid for weeks have been trying to block the route that the motorcade is going to be taking to get to Maximus Mansion in the centre of the city. Uh, that is obviously what police are trying to crack down on and crack down very quickly. Uh, but at the moment here, it is relatively peaceful in front of the parliament.